hey, check out this really awesome dining room set that I got at Restore, Habitat for Humanity Restore. Uh, it was actually like 125, but it was 60% off. I couldn't believe it. So I want you to look at it. It kind of looks dated and dingy, but check it out. Here's the chairs and the leaf. Look how scratched up it is, you can see. But I got it for like $60 and it's gonna be really beautiful when I'm done. Hey everyone. Hey, you gotta see how this turned out. I absolutely love it. It looks amazing with these shower curtains on the chairs that we reupholstered and check out this beautiful wood grain, this is in black walnut. We did two coats and we used the hard wax oil and it turned out amazing. using reticket liquid wood on this tabletop. This stuff's amazing. It has 66% recycled wood fibers in it and it's gonna make this table look amazing. I'm gonna kind of even it out with the brush. And let's see here, let's make sure that that stays wet and try to get that first plank of grain. So now this is actually the weathered kit. It's gonna have more of a weathered look. The rustic kit, I would actually be using the dark wood right now. And it's interesting because the rustic Actually, when it dries, it looks like a plank of unfinished wood. This one will look a little bit more um, artistic, but once you put the stain on it, it really does look and feel like real wood because it is. It has 66% wood fibers in it. Okay, so I'm gonna take the big grain tool and go ahead and pull it through. Okay, look at that. So I'm gonna wipe it. Now for some of you who don't like the thick grain, don't worry, you can actually go through after it's dried and sand it with fine grit. I'm gonna take the smaller one. And what I'm doing is just Pulling it through and just lightly, just barely twisting my thumb back and forth. I'm back and I blow dried the graining part and it's all dry. I did a light sanding and I'm actually applying the black walnut gel stain. So this is so much fun. I love the stain part. I'm using our water-based gel stain. And here's the interesting thing. Since this is such a big table, uh, you might want to do Think about doing it a little differently than just using this little sponge brush. So I'm trying a different technique and that is just to pour it on. And now our water-based gel stain is not thick and the reason that is is so that we can actually put it in a sprayer 
So if you're a professional or somebody who just wants to get a lot of projects done, you can go ahead and put this in a sprayer and get that really high-end professional look. It's really great with like mahoganies and dark cherry that you need that really contemporary, non-streaky stain. And for me, just pouring it on is really more efficient. Now check it out, this is the water-based kit, water-based gel stain in black walnut, and it's the weathered kit. So how many of you are stuck at home and you're low on funds and you're trying to figure out a way to get some more money? Well, let me just tell you, Marketplace is hot right now and um, this dining room set, remember this? Well, I listed it for $700. I got like over six offers on it and it sold. Um, it's still here because they're gonna be picking it up in a couple weeks. But let me just tell you that it really seems like Marketplace is hot right now. Uh, this is the time. If you have some old furniture you wanna get rid of, let go of it and start making some extra money. So if you're trying to get a little inspiration as to what to paint your piece, I wanna invite you to look at the link we have in the description. We went ahead and put a link in there and it is retique.com slash studio and you're going to be able to check out different options different paint colors to combine with different wood finishes and then all you click on is get what you need for this project and it tells you all of the products that you need and puts it in your cart it's so simple and you're going to have so much fun doing this we're going to talk to you more about this and in, in other videos but you got to go ahead and go on over to retique.com and check out the DIY virtual studio. Now we went ahead and put that link in the description so you can try it today. Make sure it's not on live. You scare me. <laughs> yeah. Working on the chain. Yay. You want to be a furniture flipper, Cameron? Look at the camera. I think furniture flipping is cool. Huh? <laughs>